This is going to be a long six months before the federal election. It almost seems like schoolyard insults are flying in every direction. I know you are, but what am I? The PM says conservative leader Andrew Scheer is lying. Really? In politics? Well, Trudeau even says he will sue Scheer over comments made on the SNC-Lavalin scandal. You can't be inventing things. You can't be lying to Canadians. Yes. Uh, and I think uh, highlighting that there are consequences um, in short term and long term when politicians choose to uh, twist the truth and distort uh, reality for Canadians. And he said this all with a straight face. Now politicians twisting the truth, say it ain't so, Joe. Well, Trudeau could be accused of making up some fibs on this as well on whether he was behind the pressure put on former Attorney General Jody Wilson-Raybould. There's plenty of liar, liar, pants on fire to go around these days. The truth, though, seems to be in short supply. Well, talk about being out of touch. The federal Liberal government this week gave $12 million to Loblaws to upgrade their fridges. Now, the goal is to reduce carbon emissions. Now, Loblaws turned a profit of $750 million in 2018. In 2017, the grocery giant admitted it was part of a scheme to fix the price of bread in Canada. Guilty as charged, they admitted, and as an act of contrition, the company then offered customers some gift cards. Well, there's so much wrong with this, but the environment minister just can't see the problem. So I'm really excited to be here in Ottawa Centre. Uh, I'm here at the Loblaw in Westboro with Hep, the store manager here. Thanks yeah. very much for having me. Well, that's an awkward photo op. At least she didn't list the weekly specials. Well, there is no doubt that reducing emissions is a good thing and urgent action is needed. But the optics here are terrible. Handouts to rich corporations just don't cut it with many Canadians. In fact, a new report this week finds that nearly half of Canadians are struggling to pay their grocery bills. And companies like Loblaws are making huge profits. Somehow, something doesn't seem right. Well, locally, your tax dollars are hard at work. City Hall has decided to pay $1.2 million to redo a half sidewalk on Brebeuf Street. Now, what is stunning about this is that the same stretch was redone in 2015 for $2.2 million. The idea was to create a bike path, but it resulted in half a sidewalk. Now, how silly was that? Back to the drawing board, a full sidewalk will be restored, the bike path moved over, and 50 parking places will disappear. So, do the math. $3.4 million in four years, and sometimes you just got to wonder. And finally, a bit of a pet peeve. When it is finally finished, I'm sure the Turcotte project will be great, although I sometimes wonder what's taking so long and why can't they devote more resources to it. But what really gets me is the impulse for some idiots to take out spray cans and make as many eyesores as possible. Now, case in point, the new St. Jacques Bridge. Now, some moron decided to put a mark on what is really a lovely structure and you find it everywhere. This is garbage, graffiti, vandalism, not sure what the answer is. Maybe more vigilance, maybe tougher consequences. It's not funny, and it's not art. I'm Barry Wilson. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. And if you like what you see, please share it. And don't forget to check out our weekly poll on Facebook. We want to know what you think. Happy Easter, happy Passover. We'll see you in a couple of weeks.